Hello everyone, this is Frenemy and if you don't know by now, there will be an event at launch. This event will give us a free SSR selector box. And I got a lot of questions, especially from the newcomers to the game, that who should I pick or which character is the best? And it's normal to ask because in every new gacha game, you want to have the strongest character first. You can have an advantage, right? Yeah, but that's not the case in Tower of Fantasy because in Tower of Fantasy, any of the SSRs that you can get for free can give you an advantage that you need if you invest in them of course so let me first introduce all of the nine characters that in the box and first let me start with the dbs characters samir subasa and crow samir is the best dbs you can get out of these three in terms of damage she is very flexible she is so much fun to use like i really recommend samir to anyone new to the game who want a really good dbs as for tsubasa on the other hand yes she have a great damage but that's not the only thing that she has because unlike samir tsubasa can also buff the damage by up to 40 percent if you awaken her of course yes she might not have samir's damage but she can be a great support too as for crow i really don't recommend him to anyone new to the game yes crow can have high damage potential even higher than samir but if you want to reach that point you need to awaken him first play him with a, in, a, in a certain way and have certain matrices so if you are new to the game please stay away from him <laughs> and now for the tanks slash shield breakers king meryl whom king is only good at two things he can deal a lot of damage and he is really good at breaking shield and he's super easy to use and i really recommend him to the new players but his only problem that he fills off late game a bit but still he's a solid character to get as for meryl meryl is one of the best shield breakers in the game Plus she can heal on breaking shields at C1 and she also very easy to use. So if you want to play a tank, Meryl should be your first pick. And for Homa, Homa is basically like Meryl but have less breaking shield efficiency but she can deal more damage and she have a really good survivability too. So basically any of these three characters can be a good option for you. Now last but not least, the supports slash healers. Zero, Coco and Shiro. So let's start with Zero. Zero main job is to shield his early game is really underwhelming and a bit weak but if you get more copies of him and you awaken him he will turn into a monster in game he will shield heal buff so he is an end game character not an early game character as for coco coco is the best healer you can get early she is very easy to use and she is one of the best characters for bvb but she fills off late game a bit, not much. But overall, I really recommend her to any new player who want to be a healer. Because she is amazing at what she do. Last but not least, Shiro. Shiro is one of the most fun to play characters in the game. She can buff burst damage and she can also buff the team shield breaking efficiency. But sadly, that, that's all she can do. But she can be a good filler, you know, for any team. So this is all the characters are in the box. But I want to tell you something that any of these nine characters will work for you. But depends on your play style and what you see you will have fun with. And that's it for this video. But please, if you like this video, leave a like. And if you dislike, like it leave a dislike and give me your opinion in the comments down below thank you everybody for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye everyone